who's the manliest man on the universe? Geralt? Yeah, he's tough and has good manners, but he's afraid of portals. What man is afraid of portals? That's ridiculous. Kratos? Nah, he's too arrogant and all he cares is vengeance. Besides, he's killing all the cool gods out there. A true man never kills. Yep, it's Kazuma Kiryu. He's tough, he can go alone against dozens of enemies, he can avoid bullets, he respects ladies and he's good with children. He knows that the perfect gift for a boy is a porn magazine. He loves alcohol and cigarettes, although this is not a good trade, but Kazuma makes smoking cool again. He has good manners and always helps people in need. And the most important thing is he will do anything to take care of his family. Yakuza Kiwami 2 brings us another wonderful story. After Kiwami ended, Kazuma was living with Haruka in peace and he was trying to be a good father by taking care of her. Haruka is a little older now and Kazuma is even more mature because he needs to learn to be a father. Just when they were remembering people they loved at the cemetery, something bad happened and he needs to go back in business of smashing faces, helping strangers on the streets, playing minigames and proving that he's the only dragon in the city. Core of the gameplay hasn't changed, but there are lots of differences from the previous two games. Yakuza Kiwami 2 runs on a new engine which makes it look much better. There are also new animations and they feel much smoother than before. At first I was very surprised you can't run anymore, only dash. You'll need time to adjust to this new mechanic and when you do that it feels even better than before. There are no loading screens when you enter or exit the buildings anymore. If you want to eat or play some mini games you just go into a building. No more annoying black screens. It adds to the feeling of the game, it feels more like a real city. And yet another small detail, Kazuma can jump down from a second story for example. I did this unintentionally first time and was pleasantly surprised. And it looked so badass. Wait, 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 wait. Here's another one. When you hit an enemy heart, you can see tears or sweat coming from his head. And of course, it's good to be back at Sodonbori. Yes, two cities again, just like in Yakuza 0. Combat feels more responsive and all the moves connect nicely into combos. Overall, it feels more fluid. Kazuma and other characters look more alive. There's no black screen when transitioning to or from combat anymore. Again, it saves time and makes playing the game more enjoyable. Of course, there are mini-games and sub-stories, and also lots of cutscenes. Without all of these, Yakuza wouldn't be Yakuza. Mini-games and sub-stories are the big part of Yakuza series, and you probably spend at least half of the time doing them. Mini-golf is one of the new mini-games which plays similarly to batting. Another new one is toilets, you play while pissing. You have limited bladder and must adjust your stream to defeat the opponent. Cabaret Club is back too. There's also a clan creator which is a fun tower defense game. And don't forget other mini games like Mahjong, Darts, Karaoke and more. One thing I noticed is that the game is harder than previous two. I'm playing on easy and I had a big trouble beating the first boss. You can't just blindly attack and win. You need to learn his moves, evade and attack at small window of opportunity. Graphics is the biggest change. New engine is absolutely wonderful. If you compare this to previous two games, the graphics is like day and night. There's so much detail everywhere you go. Faces look even better and the whole character models are heavily improved. Lighting is one of the most important things when you want to create beautiful scenes 
and lighting in Yakuza Kiwami 2 is beautifully done. It makes the cutscenes look very realistic and you never ever want to skip a single cutscene. The only negative about graphics is a lack of anti-aliasing. There are some jaggies and you'll need to get used to it. Sound design again is great. When you're walking through the city, the ambient noise makes an impression that you're in a really busy street. People talking, music coming out of restaurants or clubs. It's just what you hear on a real street. I was surprised by the combat music. I love that jazzy tune. Music in cutscenes, as always, makes them more badass. In general, sound design has improved. Overall, this is an amazing action game. If you love open world games and quality side content, then buy it without any considerations. Action, drama, funny stories and fun minigames combined makes a wonderful game. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video, please subscribe and see you next time.